What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. They've been absolutely crazy and um, I guess just the past few days have been absolutely crazy. And I even got arrested, so I want to talk a little bit about that because we tried to film as much as we could while all this craziness was happening. But as you guys saw in the one, at the end of the one vlog, the FBI guys had told my cameraman Hunter to turn the camera off. And you, turn that camera off. I'm not going to tell you Hunter, again. Turn, turn that Hunter, camera off. I'm not going to tell you again. From the officer. Turn that camera off. Hunter, keep filming. It's okay. Stay there. Don't move. I'm not going to tell you again. Turn that camera off. You hear me? It's off. And uh, so we did our best to try to record everything that happens, but we weren't exactly recording the entire time. So I want to kind of fill in the blank a little bit because I know there's a lot of questions of maybe why I got arrested in the first place or what happened after I got arrested. Mm -hmm. um, and like Liz almost got arrested or you did get arrested basically. Yeah. So we kind of want to talk about that because I know this was like really crazy things to happen and it seems like um, but we didn't quite deserve it, so I want to kind of fill in any blanks that the camera missed out because there's so much crazy stuff. I want to talk about what was in the safe. I want to talk about all the money, and there's a, so I want to kind of just fill everything and answer as many questions as I can. So I'm sure you guys have probably been following along on all of the videos of this crazy drama that's been happening, starting with I cut the safe door off. This video right here, this is where it all started. We cut the safe door off with a plasma cutter, and that's the first time we saw something inside. We weren't, we didn't show any footage at all of what was actually in. The safe on that first video because the authorities after I called they said when you upload that video don't show anything um, so then shortly after it took a few days the authorities came out and in the meantime we were recording everything we recorded as much as we could um, and they took everything out of the safe uh, they took all the money that was in the safe they took our cameras or most of the cameras they took your camera yeah. um, they took all of the SD cards that has all the camera footage in there and then it was a couple days and they gave it all back once they said it was okay for us to upload. So then we started uploading all the last videos. So now we're back kind of checking in with you guys. I want to kind of give you guys an update. That's why Liz and I are sitting here. Mm -hmm. So Carter, tell them about what happened when you got arrested. So like, yeah. What were you even thinking? Like what was going on in your mind? Because I was totally freaking out. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, so all of this when I got arrested and when Liz got arrested, this was all happening in that one video. That video was called, You Won't Believe Who Showed Up. It's this video right here. Um, if you guys haven't seen this video, I'm going to play a little clip for you guys to check it out of like the actual scene. So everything started off just fine. You know, we called the cops, said mm -hmm. like, hey, we found something in the safe. There was a lot of money in the safe. And normally if you find money, it's like, yay, we found a lot of money. This is super awesome. But it was so much money, I figured it has to be connected to um, a bank robbery or something like that. In yeah. which case, I bet someone's looking for it. I don't want bad people to come looking for it if I have it because that could be really dangerous. So I said, mm -hmm. you know what? I want to play it safe. I don't want to get harmed or hurt, especially if I post it on YouTube and get millions of views. They're going to come find it. They're going to know exactly where to come find it if I post a video. So I called the cops. Um, and so that's what happened. So we called the cops. They come in the beginning of that video. And then later on the video, check out this clip. It seems like uh, things got... You know, things took a turn, turn for the worse. I'm gonna show you the clip and then I'm gonna explain what happened. I mean, I didn't think anything was gonna be inside, guys. Because I thought, I just figured sure. it'd probably be empty. Just step this way, please. Just step this way, please. Yeah. Just step this way for me. Turn around for me. Put your hands behind Why? your back. Why? What's going Listen on? Listen to my uh, instructions. Just, just, just do what he says, sir. What? Put your hands wait, behind you your back. Wrong. I didn't do Don't anything. Don't interfere with us. But we didn't even do anything. Walk wrong. over to the we car, please. Guys, back up. You guys are I'm not gonna tell you again. Back up. And why are you arresting him? Ma'am, please, let's do our job. Here we go. Sir, I'm going to lead you over to the car. Anything. We're going to put Carter you in protective custody. Liz, it'll, it's it's okay, Liz. Things will be all fine. Do do? It'll be Look, okay. Keep the hubbub down there. there. Just lean up against Carter, the car. Carter, so everything's going to be fine. Carter, we just got to process listen, this for you. Listen, he's going to search you for both our protection and yours to make sure you don't have any sharp objects, weapons, or anything else. All right? <laughs> okay, so is that the scene you were talking about, Liz? When yeah. I got like handcuffed, yeah. they put me on top of the car, they patted me down and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was that was really crazy because I was not expecting at all to kind of be arrested. Now, what I want to clarify about this scene is um, I think a lot of you guys are probably thinking that I got handcuffed, I got arrested, I got put in the cop car, and I went to jail behind bars. That's not exactly what happened. So 
from the eyes of the FBI and the eyes of the authorities and law enforcement, what was happening was, you know, they're coming out to, you know, they're, they're responding to the phone call where I said I found a lot of money. They find a lot of money and potentially other dangerous stuff. There could be other dangerous stuff in that safe. They don't know yet. They don't know anything. They know less than me. They don't know who I am. They don't know who Liz is. And um, so they're just trying to figure out what exactly is happening. So they're asking questions, trying to understand what's going on and understand what to do just so they can best protect everyone. They decided let's temporarily arrest him. Let's put him on handcuffs and kind of sit him down in the back of the car where he can stay safe and out of our way so the FBI then can kind of continue searching the area. So that's all that it was. So um, it was a little bit crazy, kind of like the whole thing. So I got put in handcuffs. Um, they patted me down to make sure I didn't have any weapons or anything dangerous on me and then they started doing the same with you it was So scary and it was really scary. So that's exactly what happened there is so it was it looked a little bit more scary than it actually was But I don't think they ever intended to like lock me up behind bars They were just doing a temporary arrest just to constrain me and hold me somewhere while they could figure things out So the other thing I want to talk about is something that was not on camera at all because this was after they told the cameraman, so I got arrested, Liz got arrested, and then they told the cameraman to stop recording. And then the next video, uh, the one million dollars found in safe video, it just starts with me holding the camera again. So a lot happened in between the two videos and that's another piece that is important for you guys to know. So Carter, while you were sitting in the back of the cop car, the authorities went over to the safe and went through everything to make sure that there wasn't anything dangerous. Mm -hmm. And they found more and more money, but the money dates all the way back to the 1980s. Yeah, exactly. So they were finding bills that were from like early 2000s and money as old as 1980s. And that was like such a huge clue that they realized, okay, like we're definitely like weren't part of the bank robbery or wherever this could have came from. Yeah. That we like, we're, we were just, some, you know, a couple of kids that just came across the safe and we found it because Back in 1980, like, we weren't even born in 1980. Yeah. Like, that money is super old, so there's no way we could have, like, stolen that money because banks don't even have, like, money that old anymore. They don't even have, there's a bunch of 2,000 bills in there, too. I don't even think they have that old money. They have all the new, you know, early, like, newest model, but the blue strip money. So this is what a $100 bill from 1980 looks like, and the one below it right here is from 2000s, and the ones that are in circulation today and the ones that the banks have are this one right here. So you can see that each of those three look totally different, and only the, one, the top two were found in the safe. So it was all, like, old money. Mm -hmm. And so I think that was a huge piece of why they realized, okay, well, I'm, I sounded like maybe I was part of it earlier when I was answering some questions, but they realized, okay, for sure he's not part of it. Like, this stuff is just so old. He's probably been sitting in that safe for like 20, 30 years or something. I guess like, th yeah, 30, 40 years. Yeah, 1980 was a long time ago. Okay, so that kind of explains, I guess, why we got arrested, like why they put us in handcuffs and why they tried to secure the situation. It's just because they didn't know what was going on and they were just trying to play everything safe. So they quickly wow. let us out of handcuffs and we were totally fine after that. It was a pretty scary situation because I've never been handcuffed like that before. I've never been like, arrested at all like that so it's kind of scary yeah but everything worked out in the end so as they were pulling more and more like bricks and bricks out of the safe there was just so much money they started laying it down on the white tarp and I was just looking at it I've never seen that much money in my entire life I had no idea there was like that much money to even fit in that safe like there was yeah, so there was much like so much so I asked the guy I asked one of the FBI agents how much he thinks it is he said it was probably like um, maybe upwards of a million five, which means a million and a half, or one that one point five million dollars. So it's like maybe a million dollars, maybe it's a more, maybe it's a yeah. little bit less than a million. So it's like I'm calling it a million. Like that's a lot, one million dollars or even more in that safe, Liz. That's so crazy. Like where could this money have come from? Like a bank robbery? I don't know. Like can somebody save that much cash? I don't know. I'm gonna Google it right now. Guys, how much money do banks hold in a bank? Because I think if you rob a bank, I feel like it's not even that much money. Carter, what if somebody just saved up all that money? They saved up a million dollars in $100 bills and $50 bills all the way back from the 1980s? I mean, like... Because I don't know if that seems reasonable. Guys, what do you think happened? So I just Googled how much cash does a bank hold? And the answer is between $50,000 or to $200,000. That means you'd have to rob five banks in one day just to fill that safe. What if they robbed five banks in like 10 months or something? So maybe, well I mean, that's still, you have to rob five banks just to get that much that much money. Like that's crazy. A million dollars is a, seriously a lot of money. I doubt yeah. someone just saved it up 
and kept it in cash and stuck it in a safe and then left the safe somewhere in an abandoned town. That doesn't make sense to me. I feel like that this must be connected to some bigger mystery. I'm not really sure. And then the other thing that's crazy about it is the FBI took all the money. I guess that makes sense since this is probably part of some bigger investigation, some bigger mystery. They need all the money. Like, it's not mine. You know, like someone either, maybe someone saved up and lost it. Or maybe it's part of like some really big like crime that happened like 30 years ago or something like that. So I'm not really sure what it is or where mm. this money came from. But I want you guys to comment down below. Where do you think all that money came from? And what would you do if you could keep all that money? So at the end of the last vlog, they started packing up all the money into the evidence bag and I asked the FBI guy, can I keep some of the money or like half of it or something, you know, can we share it or something like that? And he says, no, of course not, you can't keep any of it because it's part of a bigger crime, so they have to take it all. You're taking all of it? Of course. I don't get to keep any of it? What would make you think you would get to keep this money? I guess that makes sense because, you know, it's not my money, just because I found it doesn't make it mine. And if anything, you know, I'm doing a really great job because I found the money, I alerted the authorities to give it to them so they can either find out if someone saved all that money and it was theirs, they can find the person and give it back to them, whoever lost the money, or if it's part of a bigger crime, we could maybe help solve a huge crime that happened like 30 years ago. So that could be super exciting and super awesome. Yeah, that would be really fun. I mean, I do wish I could keep the money, but at the same time, you know, it's not them. mine. So I asked, like, can I at least have like maybe a couple thousand dollars or like one stack? And they said no. But that's okay, you know, like I'm just like happy that we could, you know, do the best we can to help because we weren't in like when we grabbed the safe, I figured it was just like empty, like a piece of trash. I didn't think anyone actually wanted it or there was anything inside. And so guys, if you find something that's not yours, remember if you do take it, you know, turn it into the lost and found or alert the authorities if it's like a million dollars in a in a safe or something like that. But just because you find it, it doesn't make it yours. So guys, now that we found out what was inside the safe and all that craziness is finally done, I want you guys to comment down below what else we should start vlogging. And on other news, I want to show you something super cool. Liz, first show this one. You guys have seen this one before. This was from quite a while ago. That's a 100,000 play button. And what just came in the mail is kind of late, but we got the one million subscriber play button. This is super awesome, guys. Thank you so much. I know this is kind of late because I'm almost at two million subscribers I know, now. This should be mine. Yeah. It's mine now. Liz hit a million subscribers, so oh, her yeah. million is going to come in. But again, guys, we couldn't have done any of this without you. So thank you so much for subscribing to these awesome channels, the most epic channel on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. We couldn't do any of this without you. And if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you smash that subscribe button because we are on the road to two million. We're two basically million. about to hit two million like any day now. I know. And then 10 million is the next play button. So we're going to cruise as fast as we can. 10 minutes. If you want to be a part of the journey, smash that subscribe button right now. Whew, okay, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye! Woo!